So here's an interesting topic, like what determines eye color. I know of a person who wanted to change of eye color and would fervently ask God to change them. Like uh, I'll close my eyes, I'll pray, and when I open, boom, my eye color has changed. Now that sounds kiddish, I know. Indeed, it was a kiss wish. Surely enough, even we as adults dream of having different eye color. Oh wow, blue. I wish I had blue eyes. I can certainly have them now. Hold on. No, I'm not talking about iris implant. That's super risky. Contact lenses is the answer. So what's with this different shades of natural eye color you see around? Is there a sheet of gray, blue or maybe green inside our eyes? Nope. It's all the play of melanin, a pigment found inside the iris. Iris Yes, the colored part of the eye. You'll be surprised to know there are seven types of eye color. We'll get to it in the later part of the video. So, there's nothing like green or blue pigment ever present in the eye. It's the same melanin we all have. It is related to the amount and quality of melanin in the front layer of the iris. So, depending on the amount of melanin stored in the eye, the colors can range from pale blue to dark brown. Eye color is determined by variations in a person's genes. Most of the genes associated with eye color are involved in the production, transport and storage of this pigment called melanin. While the first half of eye color has to do with what's already in your eye, the other half has to do with what goes into it. That's light. Ah, how does light affect our eye color? Your iris has two layers a front and a back. The front thin layer of tissue is called the stroma, which has fibers, cells and proteins in it, namely collagen. In the little pigments in this front layer, the fibers scatter and absorb more light that comes in. More blue light get back out and the eyes appear to be blue. It's the same dynamic that makes water in an ocean look blue. So, more the melanin, the darker the eye color. Now let's see the seven colors of the iris. Brown, Amber, Hazel, Green, Grey, Blue and Red. What's with this green and hazel? Many people have variations in the color of their irises, often with one color near the pupil and another at the edge. This variation happens when different parts of the iris have different amounts of pigment in them. The result? Green or hazel? Oh wait, did I say red? Yes, I did. Ah, you might be thinking that I am talking about photographs having red eyes. Nah Baba, it's actually red eyes. This occurs when the back layer of iris doesn't have melanin at all. That's the case of people with albinism, who completely lack pigment in their iris. Hence, the color red is a reflection of the blood vessels in their eyes. Hey, but why is black eye not listed in the eye color types? Contrary to popular belief, true black eyes do not exist. Some people with a lot of melanin in their eyes might appear to have black eyes depending on the lighting conditions. This is not truly really black but simply a very dark brown. Did you know that besides giving our eyes color, Melanin helps protect them from the sun. Light eyes are much more sensitive to the sun's harmful rays than darker eyes because they have less pigment. I hope you learned something new today. More exciting theories coming up on Learn On. Hit that red subscribe button now if this thought comes to your mind. I need to know more.